Hi and welcome to MicroStation. In this video clip, um, I'm going to cover a few basics on how to set up your file. Now, I currently have a file open. Um, so if I want to open a brand new file, I'm going to say File, uh, New, and it comes up with a dialog box like this. Now, to start off with, uh, you first have to decide where you're going to save your file. Um, I'm going to put my file in, um, or rather on my desktop. Um, so I'm just putting it on my desktop. I'll move it later. Um, I'll give it a name. I'll call it Tutorial 1. Before I say save, um, I want to make sure that um, that I've selected the right seed. So I'm going to click on Browse uh, Seed 2D because we're going to be working only uh, in two dimensions. And I'm going to say Open. Um, now that I've made sure that I've selected the 2D seed um, and confirmed my file name, I'm going to say Save. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. I just put it on my desktop. I say save. Right now, I have a brand new file. Um, if you look on the title bar of my um, current file that's open, it says tutorial one dot dgn. Dgn being the extension. Now, in brackets, it says two D. So that's the seed that I've selected. And it says MicroStation PowerDraft V8i. That's the version we are working on. Okay, so I've just opened up a file. Now I'm going to set um, set it up. Before I do that, um, I have an option to change uh, the color of my background. So I'm going to say Workspace Preferences View Options, and here um, it has black background, a white background. So if I remove uh, the little tick mark on that box and say OK, my background is currently black. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to work with a black background, see how it goes, if the video is good. Uh, if not, I'll change it to white. Uh, so I'm quite happy with the black background here. Also, I'm going to go to Workspace, Preferences, um, Operations, and say save settings on exit. Now this is very very important because if I do not turn this on I'll have to manually go and say file save settings at every stage. Okay, so I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to start setting up my file. So I'm going to go to settings, design file and it opens up this design file dialog box. Um, to start off with, I'm going to say my working units. Um, currently, the master unit is set up to be meters. I do not want to work in meters. I would rather work in millimeters. So I'm going to make sure that my master units and my subunits are both set to millimeters. And I say, OK. So I'm going back there, settings, design file. Now see, by default, now it's set up. So I've got my unit. Um, my unit set up to millimeters. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to scale. I'm not going to change anything. I just wanted to confirm that I'm working at a 1 is to 1 scale. Now, the grid. This is important. I'm going to turn my grid lock on. Um, a little later on, I'll tell you what that does. So for now, you just turn it on. And I'm going to say I want my grid master to be 1 and my grid reference to be 10. Now, what does that mean? What does 1 and 10 mean? Uh, I'll just show you in a minute. So I'm going to say OK. Now, as soon as I said OK, my, uh, the grid on my screen disappeared, and that's quite normal. The reason why it disappeared is, one, it was earlier in meters, and two, the grid size was fairly large. OK. Now, if I roll my mouse wheel, so I've got a three-wheel um, Three button mouse so the center one is a wheel so if I roll it forward I'm zooming in and there you go my grid is there okay so what I'm going to do now is I want to zoom into one grid okay 
So if you uh, look at this grid, it's divided into 10 parts. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that is my grid reference. And the distance between the dots is 1. So if I go back here, design file, see that? Master, grid master is 1, grid reference is 10. That's what it is. Just quickly uh, show you something else. So if I make it um, 2 and 5 and say OK, see what happened. Um, each grid is divided into 5 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, and the distance between them is 2 units. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. OK, so I've set up my grid. I'm going to go say File, Save. Now this is uh, the same like any other file. Uh, you need to keep saving it. If your computer crashes, you're going to lose your file. Okay, so I'm going to say file, and then there you go. It's file, file, save settings. I've already turned it permanently on. Um, so it, my settings, which I've just done, is already saved. Okay. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to element, text style. And now, by default, the height and width are 250 millimeters. It's way too large. So I'm going to make it uh, 6 units. So I'm going to say I want my height to be 6, and I want my width to be 6. What is this text style? Uh, this height and width is for um, all the names that you're going to put in, for the information that you put on your title block. Um, basically, that's the height and width of it. Okay. So I'm going to close that. Now, if I go back and check, uh, that automatically will be saved. Six. I'm going to go to Element, Dimension Styles. Okay. Now, I start off with Geometry. So there's a lot of tabs on top. I'm going to start off with Geometry. Um, Terminators. Okay. So I'm going to go to Arrowheads. I'm going to say Closed. Okay, now please read your tutorial. Uh, each tutorial, the requirements is different, so based on that, you need to make sure that um, you follow the task. Okay, so in this case, I'm saying arrowheads close. I'm saying that I want the width of my um, arrowhead to be 1.5 and height as 0.5. Um, I'm not changing anything else. The terminator moves first, so if there's decimal points, the terminators or the arrowheads automatically moves out. Units. Now, since I've already set this up in my settings design file, I don't need to do anything. Uh, just want to bring your attention to what the units has already set. Okay. Um, I'm not going to change anything there. I go to text. Now, I'm going to say height and width, and in this case, I'm going to say I want a height and width of um, 4 units. So this is only for the numbers or your dimensions, okay? Now, again, uh, in this exercise or this example, I'm, I'm setting it up to 4. Please uh, read your task and see what, uh, what you're asked to um, define, okay? So once I've done that, that's about it. My dimension style is ready. I'm going to say close and it's set. So if I go back and check, I've got my text set to 4, units are in millimeters, and I've got closed arrowhead um, based on requirement. Um, I'm going to say file, save, and I've basically done all the basic settings that I need. Uh, it's ready to uh, uh, for drawing and um, that's about it. We've covered how to set up your file. Um, uh, with this, I'm going to end this video. Um, how to insert a title block will be in my next video. Okay.